Chapter 6 Speculation and New Weapon Leaks. First details on bug fixes coming in the next patch, the endless wait that is DICE outlining the next steps for the game, and another giveaway. This is your week on the battlefield. Welcome to this episode of This Week on the Battlefield, the show where we cover news, updates, the community, and so much more all around the Battlefield franchise. As per usual, there's much to cover, so let's jump straight into it. In our small ticket news items then, this week, Tides of War Chapter 5 Week 11 on all channels features mostly outpost and class specific infantry tasks and of course allows you to unlock the Pacific Palm skin for the Type 2A SMG that most of you at least would have unlocked last week. The featured game mode of the week and thus playlist is Outpost and is available on both Pacific Storm Iwo Jima and also Aerodome Mercury and Aras and has been significantly improved over the last iteration we had in the game. Some of the more significant changes that have been made, the full list will be linked down below in the description, includes the removal of all bombers from the European themed maps, small delays between tower upgrade stages, in essence forcing players to now stick around and hold an objective for at least 30 seconds before being able to further upgrade the tower, and radio towers now have more health and longer fuse timers the larger they are. In addition then we have an Art of Battlefield 5 giveaway this week with 15 copies available. Entry for that closes this coming Monday, January the 13th, with the winners being announced and drawn on the 14th. Also in this week's news, we have the Type 97 LMG now being available for purchase for 1,700 company coins if you missed unlocking it the week before last. Next week then, we have Tides of War Chapter 5, the final week with Eye of the Storm featuring objective and infantry focused tasks which of course will allow you to unlock the final weapon of Chapter 5, the M3 Grease Gun. The big feedbackening is also a topic of next week discussion as, well, we didn't hear anything this week. I think the community at large really was hoping that DICE would finally respond to the ongoing controversy regarding time to kill, snap aim on console and vehicle imbalances as well as the many many bugs that currently plague the game once more, but despite them getting back to the office from their holiday hiatus on Tuesday, nothing has come from them so far. Braddock though has supposedly been gathering a lot of the community feedback into some mythical mega doc which he will be sending to the DICE devs, but we'll have to wait and see if they actually respond to some of the criticism. In our ever popular and ever evolving soon TM category of news, we have Chapter 6, specifically a weapon leak via the in-game dog tag menu that specifies the inclusion of weapons such as the M3 infrared sniper, the M2, the attacher shotgun, the Type 11 LMG, the bazooka and the double barreled flare gun. Now whether this was just a bug or these weapons are being worked on in preparation for Chapter 6 is of course currently unclear, but if you want to know a little bit more about what we know and can speculate regarding chapter 6, the theme, maps, weapons and vehicles, I made a video on that very topic just yesterday, so feel free to check it out if you're interested. In terms of what to expect from the next update, we're getting our first pieces of information regarding bugs that are being worked on, fresh of course from the Trello board update this Friday. Specifically some of the more notable bugs that are currently plaguing the game and are under investigation at DICE are players matchmaking into servers outside of their regions, players being unable to deploy after the bleeding out stage, reloads failing when players use a pouch while the animation is taking place, and the Serbs Lada 1906 being unable to generate XP and consequently also being impossible to level up. Then over in our temporal goodness, as always of course, to be taken with a generous helping of salt given the data mining origins of the provided information, we first got some info regarding one of the unreleased weapons that leaked via the dock tag menus in game as earlier mentioned. The Type 11 LMG supposedly will feature a specialization called Topped Up that allows the LMG to be reloaded with stripper clips as the weapon features a hopper feed ammo system. This will probably work similar to the Perigno model 1908 back from Battlefield 1, so if you remember how that worked, essentially you were able to top up the ammo of your gun as you went to kind of never have to face any larger reloads and thus after each kill you could add another 10 bullets to your bag and go on your way. Also from Temporal, we have three new melee weapons found in the files, specifically the Spade Knife, the Dado, a Chinese machete-like variant of the Dao Sword, and the Shile Lak, a supposedly Irish club-looking weapon. Also, in cosmetic news, we have the Megalodon skin set, definitely a hint at the possibility of naval combat coming to Battlefield 5 in the future, 
And lastly, we have some more information on specific locations on the yet released Solomon Islands map. You can find a full breakdown of that in the previously mentioned Chapter 6 focused video. Over in our only in battlefield moments then, we start this week off with Whiff Snailer and his flamethrower over on Wake Island. Murat Mark up next, going absolutely Rambo on Aras Breakthrough. Satini Morpheus on the show next with a rare Firestorm clip and a fantastic Panzerfaust. And lastly, we have Pyroman with the practical definition of luck in Battlefield 5. But with that, we're coming to the end of this week's episode then. If you enjoyed the show, found it interesting or entertaining, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, and of course hit me up with your feedback, suggestions, and opinions down below in the comments or over on Twitter. With all that being said, however, I'd like to thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next episode of This Week on the battlefield.